Welcome back to another brief tutorial. Today we will look at how you can manually check your BitLocker recovery key if you have administrative access to your client machine. So in here, I have already logged in as the administrator, but if you are not the device administrator or the domain administrator, this will not work. So the easiest way to check your BitLocker key is to go to the start menu and type BitLocker and it'll give you the control panel option or the app for manage BitLocker. Once you open that, you will be greeted with this screen and it'll say BitLocker drive encryption. And on the right hand side, you will have the options to do certain things with your BitLocker, such as suspending your BitLocker for maybe installation of certain um, configuration files, for example. But what we are interested here is backing up your recovery key. Now, if you click on backup your recovery key, notice that I am logged in as the administrator, so this will work. If not, when you click on it, it'll give you a pop-up message to enter your admin username and password. You will get three options for backing up. One is a save to a USB flash drive, save to a file, and print the recovery key. The USB flash drive obviously going to save that recovery key to an external flash drive, which you can read, by the way, like it's a human readable uh, you know, file. Save to a file will save it exactly what it says, save to a file, but if you choose this option and if you try to save your BitLocker recovery key on the same device, it will not allow you to do that. For example, if I click on save to the device, I'm saving it to a server that is outside of this device. If I try to save it to the documents of this device, for example, the BitLocker recovery key, and click save, it'll give you an error message saying this location can't be used. So you may be in a situation where you want to save your BitLocker recovery key, but you don't have access to your domain server or organizational server, or this is a home built machine that doesn't have any connection to any third party or enterprise server. So how do you actually save your BitLocker, BitLocker recovery key? So or you have a couple of options. So the easiest option is to choose the option called print the recovery key. So instead of save to a file, print the recovery key, which will allow you to still save as a file and I'll show you how you do this. So you're gonna click on print the recovery key. And in here, you may have a bunch of printers, but pick the printer called Microsoft Print to PDF. Almost every single, I mean, every, not almost every single Windows 11 and Windows 10 machines now comes with Microsoft Print to PDF. It may not be the default option on your device, uh, but if it is not, just select the Microsoft Print to PDF option and click print. What that's going to allow you to do is to save the recovery key to your same device that you are logged in, even though it is not recommended because if you get locked out of this device because of BitLock issue, you won't have access to this file. So I will call this BitLocker uh, recovery key. Um, uh, you know, PDF uh, file, and if I save it, uh, so I save it to the desktop, and here's the file, and if I click on it, it'll open the op information that I need. So it has the identifier, and it has the recovery key, this big, big long string of letters, sorry, the numbers. So, again, it is not advisable to save your BitLocker recovery key on the same device because if you get locked out of this device, you won't have access to this file. But you, if you want to just simply write down the BitLocker recovery key or print this using your printer, so you can use the print option, so, right? So just like this. Or you can email this, which is not recommended because emails can be hacked, but you can also email it or put it into a secure uh, you know, um, file uh, location like outside your device, such as a cloud server. So that's how you could get the recovery key when you don't have active directory backup of that recovery key, which I have shown in my previous tutorials. Now, there's another option. You can actually get this recovery key. So if I click on this saying finish and get out of there, the other option you have 
to get the recovery key is to use our my, uh, Windows built-in command prompt. So if you go to start menu and type CMD, and again, if you're not the administrator or not logged in as administrator, make sure you choose the option called run as administrator because I'm already logged in as an administrator. It'll just open up in the administrator mode when I click on it without that pop-up. So in here, if you just want to simply view the BitLocker recovery key, you can type uh, manage dash BDE space dash protectors. So it's, uh, it's going to be protectors. So manage dash BDE protectors dash get and C. The reason why we are using C because on most devices, when you encrypt on Windows device, it's going to be encrypt the C drive. For whatever the reason, if you force it to have a different drive letter, you know, it's not going to be C, but the, by default, the Windows is set to C. That's why we are getting that one. So it's manage. Uh, so M-A-N-A-G-E dash B-D-E. And then you put a space. Make sure don't forget the space. And you're going to put a switch protectors and dash get C and then we're going to press enter and that will go ahead and get your recovery key and again you can write down this recovery key or print it or do something with it but this is another way you can view that information again what you do here is go into the start menu open the command prompt in administrative privileges and type in manage dash bde protectors get see that part and then press enter this is the code that i entered and it'll give you the bitlocker uh, recovery password uh, right here right here so now this device doesn't have a trusted platform module or tpm so you, the only thing you see here is this only this this part of the information but this is because I am running this on a virtual machine that doesn't have trusted platform TPM turned on. And um, so if you do have a TPM, you will get something like this. So it will have TPM and pin information. So again, it is important that you keep this uh, as well as all of these secret from the outside world, as well as the password, not just, you know, not just um, you know that part but also everything else included in here need to be you know kept as a secret because it might create security vulnerabilities if you start sharing this with the online world okay so keep that in mind again you can save it to a file you can save it to a, a you know you can save the bitlocker recovery key to an external uh, so, sorry a server or you can print it or you can use this method what happened if you run this command, which is to try to get the BitLocker recovery key, but the device is not BitLocker enabled. So what happened if you accidentally enter this uh, and it's, there is no BitLocker at all because for whatever, it's not uh, encrypted. I will show you that on my device. So I'm gonna open the command prompt in administrative privileges. And at the same time, I will show you what happened if you're not logged in as the device administrator or the domain administrator. So when I open it, it will give you that the UAC for my device. Here you go. And it says you need admin privileges. And if you have admin privileges, so you only need to do it. Yes. If you don't, it will give you a pop up message. Now, if I run the same command here on a device that do not have BitLocker, there is no harm. It's just basically going to go and try to look for the BitLocker information. Uh, and when it doesn't see uh that you know uh, this is not available it'll just spit out an error message so let me press enter there you go and it's saying error no key protectors found the reason for this is because my particular device that is running this word these virtual machines do not have it doesn't have the bitlocker enable and therefore the command did not find any bitlocker which is correct so Keep that in mind as well when you are trying to find manually your BitLocker recovery keys. Now, that's everything. So this is supposed to be a very quick uh, brief tutorial. I talk too much. So if you have any questions or concerns, let me know. Until next time, thank you so much and have a nice day.